Now we'll see how to create a pie chart. So we'll see how to create both types of pie chart. One is a simple pie chart and one is an advanced level pie chart. So guys, I would suggest to you uh, to use uh, those uh, uh, like those visualizations, like those graphs in your visualization, which are not common. The ones which we have been studied till uh, now, like advanced funnel chart, waterfall chart, bump chart. These are not uh, readily available to you from show me. You have to uh, apply extra efforts to create such charts. So we'll see how to create a, uh, a pie chart over here. So uh, this is also a form of pie chart. We'll discuss this also. This is advanced pie chart. Let me remove it and let me say uh, show you how to create a basic pie chart. So over here, uh, if uh, I'll use pie chart when I have to show uh, the distribution of a measure over various dimensions or various. Uh, discrete values so supposedly i take a major say profit and uh, let me place profit over here and i would like to see that uh, of my total profit uh, how much profit is contributed by which region so for that uh, right now i'm getting this table i'll go on the show me i'll use pie chart okay so i'm getting this pie i would like to view it completely entire view so my highest uh, Profit is coming from the West region and minimum profit is coming, I guess, from the blue region. So I'll place this uh, uh, region on the label so I get a better understanding. Label and this shows uh, that uh, which color is belonging to which uh, label over here. Now, if I would place uh, uh, profit on the labels, profit on the label, so this shows me the highest profit comes from the waste and the minimum profit comes from the central. Now, if I would like to see this profit in terms of percentage, I can simply go on this profit, this profit, which is used on the label to show these values. I'll go on the drop down of this, go to quick table calculation and go to percentage of profit. So this will show me that the highest profit is uh, the of the entire profit. Highest profit is coming from the West region. Then uh, it's coming from the east region, then from the southern region, and the minimum profit is coming from the central region. So this way you create a simple pie chart. You can make make it uh, interactive. You can add some filters over here if you want. Um, you can simply add a, a category filter over here. Uh, I'm selecting all values, and if would, I, I would be willing to place it on the filter, then definitely based on this uh, like right now i have uh, unselected all the categories so the visualization has with this update if i select all i get to see all the values if i said uh, i would like to see uh, it only for uh, technology then i'll see that in the entire profit contributed by technology highest profit comes from the east region but when i talk about office supplies then uh, the highest profit comes from the west region and when I talk about only furnitures, then the highest profit is coming from the West region and central is actually giving me a loss. So if I am a business strategist and I look at such graphs, I would make a decision that we can plan to discontinue selling a furniture product in central region so that the business doesn't occur losses. So this way, this pie chart uh, can be made interactive using uh, this category filter or any other kind of filter you want. So now we have understood how to create a simple pie chart and how to make it as an interactive pie chart. Next we'll see how to create an advanced pie chart. But before seeing how to create an advanced pie chart, you would be willing to ask that since we know how to create this simple pie chart, why do you we want to create an advanced pie chart? So the advantage of creating an advanced pie chart is using an advanced pie chart at the single graph, you can uh, show more than uh, two parameters. So if if I have uh, two dimensions and one measure, I can represent them using my advanced pie chart. I'll show you how. First, let me remove this. Okay. Now, supposedly, I have got uh, this region. Okay. I've got this region over here, and I've got these sales over here. And supposedly, I am uh, using pi over here. So this is how they look like now um, if i would like to uh, swap the region so they look like this if i do entire view the graph looks something like this let me swap the uh, region okay fantastic yeah now uh, over here i am able to uh, view my sales and i am able to view the region wise sales uh, over here so if i remove the sales from here i just see these four 
uh, circles, okay, and each of the circle is representing one region. If I do like this, each of the circle is representing one region. Now, if I would like to uh, change the size of these circles based on the sales, like I would like to see the sales in each region. So what I can do is I can place the sales on the size over here. So over here, the uh, small size represents uh, smaller sales and the larger size represents the higher sales. Now uh, I have brought the relationship between region and sales. If I would like to see for uh, the, uh, for each region when you are showing me the sales, please bifurcate these uh, region wise sales based on categories. So how will we do that? We'll place this category on the colors over here. So you see, we have created a pie chart for each of these categories uh, where uh, for each region, I am getting the bifurcation of sales category wise. Now, if I would like to add the labels over here, I can definitely do that. I'll add the label over here. So I'll get the label. If I would like to see the sales, I can add the sales as well. So in this way, using our advanced pie chart, you can represent more than two dimensions on the single graph. So over here, we are representing three dimensions together. One is region, one is category, and one is sales. All three of them plotted together over here using our advanced pie chart. So guys, that's it for the pie charts. Uh, we'll meet in the next video. Next, we'll see how to create maps. So in Tableau, it uh, has this very good feature of uh, showing the geographical uh, fields in your data on maps so it's not uh, limited to a few countries you can uh, show any country map and you can show the uh, cities corresponding to any country using the tableau you just have to uh, add the uh, lo 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 uh, longitude and latitudinal location for that uh, particular uh, place and you can uh, easily show those uh, maps and those places so this is how a map looks like on the uh, tableau workbook and uh, um, you can see over here um, i have used my uh, geo field state and i'm showing the statewide sales and i uh, over here the color gradient tells me that the uh, state with the highest sales is california and amongst the minimum uh, sales states come South Carolina, South Dakota, North Dakota, all the ones which have got lighter color. So I can create uh, maps and I can uh, add the uh, color gradient uh, either in the form of uh, filled graphs or I can also use to, uh, the maps and uh, I can also fill the maps based on these symbols. I can even change these symbols. So we'll see how to do this. First of all, let me remove this visualization and tell you that how to create a map from scratch. So first of all, for creating a map, let's see in the show me what do I need. For creating a map, I require over here when I select, you will see that I require a geo field. I require uh, zero uh, dimensions or maybe uh, more than zero or zero measure. So first of all, I'll be uh, taking this geo field and placing over here. Okay. When I do this, uh, you'll get this normal map field. Now I would like to select this field. I can see all the states which I had in my data uh, in this uh, state uh, uh, dimension. So uh, now I would like to see uh, the profit generated by each of these states. So for what I, for that, what I'll do is I would like to uh, place this sales on uh, over here. Sorry, I have to may, may move it on the colors. So over here, you can see that uh, based on my profit, uh, like for the profit, I've got this gradient over here. And the states which are generating losses for me, which are generating negative profit, that is losses for me, are these ones. And the states which are generating highest profits for me are these ones. Now I can label these states. I'll place the uh, state dimension on the label. So I can see the states which are generating maximum profit for me are like California, uh, New York, uh, Washington. And the states which are uh, generating uh, losses for me are the states like Texas, Ohio, Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Colorado. So if I'm a business strategist, just looking at the map, I'll take a quick decision of discontinuing my sales in the regions of Texas, Colorado, and uh, uh, increasing the focus of sales more towards the states like California and uh, New York, which are already generating uh, higher revenues for me. So in this way, uh, the visualizations which we make on uh, the graphs uh, using the Tableau workbook help the business decisions make decision makers uh, create their strategy 
of sales uh, across uh, the country. So this was uh, creating a simple map. Uh, now we'll uh, see how to. Uh, this was creating a field map. So we basic for map we basically uh, placed a geo field uh, on the uh, row or column. Uh, selected the map uh, from here. I selected a map, and then uh, we selected which parameter we had to see. So we have placed some over here on the colors, and uh, based on the profit generated by each of the states they have been filled with colors now uh, since i have used a continuous variable a measure for coloring i see filled colors but you will see when i am not using a continuous variable i am using a discrete variable for coloring then the scenario would change so for that let me move you to the next uh, scenario which is the symbolic map so in case i have uh, uh, used a state and i have these uh, symbols over here uh, I have to show the uh, profits. I'll simply place the profit over here. This looks like this. Now, if I would like to uh, change it to, uh, like, if I would like to change the color, uh, and I would like to uh, not fill it by this color, I would be willing to fill it by same box. I can do that as well. So for that, I should first simply remove profit from here. Okay, and instead of placing the profit on the color, let me place profit on the size. So when I do so, based on the uh, size of the dots over here, I can see that which states are giving me highest profit and which states are giving me minimum profit. Now to uh, add a color on this, uh, instead of state uh, means uh, instead of profit on the color, we place uh, state on the color. So I'll get multiple colors based on the state names over here. Now if I want, I can also change the uh, symbol over here. Right now these are all circles. It has came automatically. I can go over here and I can change to shapes. Now, when I change to uh, shapes, just a second, uh, over here, I go to shapes over here. When I go to shapes over here. I get this extra uh, option in the marks card, which is shapes. When I click over here, I get an option to select uh, what I want. I want to choose a uh, plus sign instead of a circle. I would want to choose a star sign instead of circle. Maybe a diamond sign instead of a circle. Or uh, I can also use uh, the other uh, shape palettes available to me. So uh, supposedly I would like to use a fill palette. I would like to use a star sign. I can use that as well. So let me use a star sign. I have used a star sign, and this is how it looks. Now, if it looks small to you, we can change the increase the size as well. I would like to increase the size. Okay. So this is how it looks. So in this way, you can also create a symbol map. Uh, just. Uh, just make sure uh, that uh, whatever symbol you uh, take, they look decent uh, when you add these uh, worksheets on the dashboard. So that was uh, all for our uh, map symbols or field maps. This is how you create a uh, map visualizations in Tableau worksheet. That's all for this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.